good, man. Doing good. How are you? I'm all right. Quarantine's uh, you're stuck inside all day, but you know. Yeah, that's how it be. Matisse Wild Spicy Sardines with uh, Piri Piri Chili. Piri 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 Piri? Piri Piri. Piri Piri is apparently a different one. Okay. Is that with E? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get a sip of water just to uh, make sure my mouth is ready for fish tasting. Now I didn't bring any dairy with me. Obviously dairy is a natural counteract to spice. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be yeah, too, I'm... too bad. I'm assuming so, but... Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so, because I did not prepare for that at all. <laughs> but it does, it does say spicy on the, the box, so... Yeah, that's how you know. Also, huge thanks to uh, Culinary Collective for uh, sending me out the, the sample box. These wild spicy sardines with... Piri Piri chili sauce. I went ahead and bought an extra one for uh, Harry so we could do this collab, but... Um, I mean, my, my dad did, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, so opening it up, uh, it's got a very light colored skin. It, it's like almost white, it's nice and lustery and shiny. Pretty sure that's the, the word for it, lustre, right? Yeah. It goes like your typical can of sardines, a little bit like cat food, but you know. Last time a can smelled like cat food, it was one of the best cans I've ever had. So I, I, I think that's a good sign. Uh, I can see a little bit of a whole pepper in here. Yeah. Now when I when I tap the fish with my fork, it uh it feels a lot more dense than I was expecting. Honestly, the last Matisse can that I had, it was a uh, very like, kind of flaky. Honestly, like the, the flesh just kind of came apart nicely in your mouth. This is uh it feels a little bit different, but uh, if I uh, chomp into it, it, it still feels like a denser fish. What are your first impressions, uh, Harrison? So I've noticed a slight discoloration in the uh, fluid, which I'm assuming is in part to the chili flakes. And yeah, I mean, I'm not as uh, in tune with fish, but I noticed that it kind of flakes a part of it when, you, uh, when you're pouring into it. Yeah, I, I think that'll happen a lot more in your mouth when you chew too. Yeah. Uh, the, um, just, just as a heads up, the uh, original, the, just the olive oil with tea sardines that I had, they were uh, Probably the, the best I've ever had. So this is nice. uh, this is going to be interesting. So you got a bite ready? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. That is so good. Oh yeah. All right, I got a little bit of kick. It's not like overwhelming. It's it's honestly the perfect amount for me. It's it's a kick that comes near the end of it. I feel, and it's definitely more like in your throat versus like a a tongue kick. I, I didn't get that. I was completely out of tongue. I might have just like swallowed it. But yeah. I don't know. I, I um, try and get a, a little bit uh, more taste. But yeah, that I I put that in a like I don't know sandwich. Yeah, this is <laughs> um, really good. I think these would be really good in a salad. I feel like. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So since it's an oil, the um, the oil really retains that uh that nice texture and the flavor and the uh, I feel like the, the spice. It adds enough kick so it's not just like plain sardines, but mixed with the already fantastic flavor of just the standard olive oil sardines, I, I, it, it's honestly perfect. It's, it's so good. Yeah. I call it a fun spice. Yeah, like, yeah. A spice that's not there to like hurt you. It's there just to like kind of have a good time. Yeah. A lot of cans to uh, make them enjoyable, you have to add your own hot sauce, you know? Yeah. And that leaves some room for um, you know, a little bit more customization. But for a spicy, ready to, ready to eat can, this is fantastic. This is like, I'd say the best bang for your buck. This is not too far. I personally, I still like the kind of mellow flavor of um, just the normal olive, uh, olive oil ones. But yeah, I'm just still very good. I mean, like as as far as like spicy foods go, it's definitely something that I would definitely come back. 
it's, yeah. it's the same level where it's not, like how I said earlier, it's not something that's actively going out of its yeah. way to hurt me. I could just eat it. Yeah, this fun. is a nice uh, snack or a, a meal compared to something else. Yeah. All right, so uh, Harrison, I, I see there's a a, a whole um, pepper in here. Is there? Yeah, uh, there, there's one for me. You might have to uh, dig, dig through it a little bit. I'm really cruising on this because this is really good. But um, ah, oh, there it is. I see. Do you uh, do you think we should eat that? It's probably Mr. Perry Perry himself or Piri Piri. So yeah, for sure. Like if you want to bite into it, come down. All right, I'm gonna get a uh, get it on the fork. If this is painful, I'm going to it. The pepper right, itself right? looks big. Also, letting you know, near the top, I don't know if you can see the seeds, that's where all the spices like to kept. Oh, really? Yeah. For most peppers, all the capsaicin, which is the chemical that makes spice, is kept in the seeds itself. Right, I'm going to dig in the whole thing, right? All right. I'm going to write some food. I'm going to go by the first. The pepper itself has a little bit of a... A little bit bitter, not like bitter at all. I'm just trying to get very subtle. It's things. like a, a stereotypical vegetable taste. Yeah, but not the really not a lot of spice to it. Yeah, uh, not as sweet as like a bell pepper. Yeah, from what I noticed, it was uh, the pepper was cut at the top, so okay. I'm assuming they cut it so that the seeds could like bleed into the oil. Yeah, to help, probably like, make the spice a lot more. I can't over. get over this fish. It's really good. Dude, yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, this is a fish I would say if you don't like canned fish and you uh, you maybe have because I remember I used to hate sardines and then I got my eyes open to like actual good sardines like this. If you don't like sardines, try these. These are there is none of the bad sardine flavor. It's all just yummy. It's 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 yeah. so good. I don't see how you couldn't eat these every day. Yeah, I'm just noticing that like the way that the oil sort of coats around the fish, mm -hmm. each flavor of each um, bite has like enough flavor. Yeah. I've had a uh, fish where um, it's just like there's too much oil in it, you know? So um, this is not like that. I used to think that was just like like that's just how I ate it, you know, there's a little bit too much, you know, and maybe I dipped it too much. Yeah. But uh, after eating these, uh, I realized that that is really not the case. Um, it's, uh, these are done so well. Matisse is honestly a master of doing sardines. Uh, right now, I have some more I need to try in the future, but uh, as of now, I'd say Matisse is a, uh, it's, it, they're my favorite sardines right now. These are probably like the second or third favorite cans that I've had. The first being um, the olive oil petite sardines, and then probably the uh, the lemon lamadara ones. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. That was so good, dude. I, uh, what do you think? Alright. I'm honestly speechless. I can't get over that. Yeah, right. yeah. Th this is definitely like something I'm gonna like keep stocked in the house. Yeah. My dad, uh, he's already had one of these. He said he was. He sounded like very impressed. Like normally he's, he just eats sardines because they're sardines. He doesn't really care about the taste, but he said to me, Marshall, these were some really, really good sardines, you know? So yeah, I, I feel like you don't have to be a fish lover to appreciate them. Yeah, for sure. But they're still like great. I mean, like, do you like sardines like normally? I haven't really, I've honestly never had sardines. So, so you're pretty neutral on the subject, right? Yeah. So this is, would you say, as somebody who doesn't normally eat fish or can fish, is this like a nice entry level? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, I highly recommend, if you think you don't like sardines, these are also, these are pretty cheap, like, for how good they are. I've seen some pretty expensive cans of fish. These are like maybe four, maybe five dollars. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, for, for a can this good, that is honestly, that is a smoking deal to me. So, yeah, go go buy yourself some of these. These, um, I think Oslo Sardine Bar is Mike. So as far as the fish goes, it was um, 
that was a really enjoyable experience. That's probably something I'll keep stocked in the house for a while. Yeah, honestly, so, like, on the usual. That's something I'll definitely be going back to eat. The, the, the texture, it was it was nice. It wasn't dry, but it wasn't too wet either. I, it's like that nice, perfect balance. When you eat it, it, uh, it like kind of falls apart in your mouth. Yeah. You know, it's got that nice flaky kind of thing going on. It's, it's got none of the bad bitter stuff, like none at all. Like not even a hint, which is honestly really impressive. You know, it just makes for a really nice experience. And uh, I, I think I enjoyed the, um, just the olive oil ones a little bit more. Just because, uh, I don't know if it was just the weather on that day, because I was sitting outside. It was just a really nice day. Yeah. Um, so your food might, you know, sort of like subconsciously play into how you feel about something. But uh, this was, um, you know, this was right up there with it. Uh, I'd say the last, uh, the olive oil ones, I gave a 10 out of 10. They were that good. And uh, these, uh, I give a 9.8 out of 10, I think. I'd say around the same thing, where, so, on the spice scale that I usually judge, I try and find the correct balance between flavor and, like, spice, or, like, the kind of the pain in your tongue. And so here, uh, there's not really that much of a spicy scale, but on the flavor scale, it's very much up there. Like, yeah. I, I've had the sauces before where it's just dense in flavor, yeah. and those are, like, so far which is only two cans but you know both were exceptional they prepared the pepper in a way where it really distributed the spice to all the different uh as you said the crevices of the fish you know because it was really packed in there yeah. so it's, it's i imagine it's hard for the spice to kind of find it but work its way around and they uh they, they handled it very well yeah i don't know what oil they uh use i'm guessing i'm guessing just like an olive oil or something yeah this is like top notch yeah. spanish olive Can't fish with you. This has been Harrison's hotness. And uh one, two, three. Happy